We love fashion, but we also love money. And we love being financially savvy, but we love being stylish. We are going to be talking through some of the essentials we think every woman should have in her wardrobe. But we're going to talk about where you should be saving, where you should be uh, splurging, and where you're potentially wasting some money. The first one is something we're both wearing. It's t-shirts. Everyone needs a t-shirt in their wardrobe. Everyone needs a great t-shirt and they come in all different shapes, colors, sizes, whatever you want. Yeah. And I personally think this is something you can say. You don't need a designer t-shirt to look good in a t-shirt. I also went on a mission this month. I was like, it's my birthday. I'm turning 27. I don't want my thrifted t-shirts from Save Mart anymore. I was like, I want some like classy, nice expensive t-shirts. And I, the only one I found was this from COS, which is really nice, really thick fabric, quite beautiful. I like it. I, I couldn't find anything I wanted to buy. Like all of these designer t-shirts, like I put them on, I'm like, eh, like why would I pay like $60 for this when I can get one for like $10 from Glassons, it's the same. So I was someone that tried to shift to let's splurge on t-shirts cause you wear them every day and you might as well have a nice one. And now I'm back in the save category. They don't have it here, but I love the Uniqlo t-shirts. I picked up one when I went to Sydney on a work trip and when I went to Singapore last year and going to Japan this year and I think I'm just gonna buy a whole lot of stuff at Uniqlo, Uniqlo t-shirts. They're really nice, the cotton and they're just a yeah. good fit and just comfy, you know? I kind of want you to get me some actually. Oh, I mean I could. <laughs> the next wardrobe essential for us is gonna be no surprise for regular viewers of the channel. It's a good classic leather handbag. And for us, you can also probably tell from our previous videos, <laughs> this is an area we like to splurge in. We have had many handbags in our mm -hmm. lifetime. I am dubbed the handbag queen in my family because I've had so many. <laughs> and I think you use and abuse your handbags. It's gonna be something with you every day and you should get a good quality leather because it really is going to last. Like the handbags that I have in my collection now, I've had you know some of them for a good couple of years and they look brand new. Versus when I was at university, I had like a lot of cheap um, like pleather bags and mm various fabrics and they just didn't last and they mm. end up looking really scrappy and they just show their wear so quickly mm. and I just think it's an area to invest in and it's so fun I love buying handbags <laughs> <laughs> but you don't necessarily as well have to splurge like excessively on like a designer bag I love my Pelin bag we made a video doing a face off between YSL and Pelin and I would still consider the Pelin bag a splurge um, or like a more spendy item. It's a nice yes. leather quality. But if you want to hear a bit more about buy yourself this is plan, we'll link that video below. I'm also a big fan of Strathbury. So I'll link to a Strathbury review that I did. And I'm thinking about buying another Strathbury, <laughs> but I can't decide if I should buy it now or I should wait till I'm in the UK later this year. I feel like that's more special. But then it's on sale now. <sighs> to save or spend. <laughs> <laughs> the next category, I was like, this is a wardrobe essential. But we had a little bit of a debate of whether it should be in the save or the spend category, but we've settled on save and it is activewear. Now I was the one, no surprises, that was leaning towards splurge because I was looking <laughs> at my activewear and I have some Amon sets, I've got some Nike gear, but then when I thought about it, all of the like fancy branded activewear that I have I got on clearance. So I'd got them at the outlet mall or I'd got them on Black Friday sales. That's when Eamon does really good discounts, by the way. I always find it hard to like upgrade into those more expensive brands because from like a fabric side, I know the composition of the fabric is very similar. They're still usually polyester or nylon and I just can't see necessarily the intense performance games. I'll definitely pay more for like a sports bra but for like everyday leggings and tees and tops and stuff, I am happy to go to the warehouse or Kmart. That's so true though, because if you think about like a handbag, there's mm. such a level up in terms of the leather versus something that's like not leather yeah. or nylon or whatever. And then also like the hardware, I think, and yeah. like the zips. Mm -hmm. and I'm so tempted by a Lululemon little black jacket, mm. but still I'm like, uh. The next category is a very classic wardrobe staple that has been around for many, many years now. It is the denim jean. They come in all different shapes and sizes depending on what your style is. You might be still on the skinny jeans, though apparently skinny jeans coming back. They were hot on the runways for the latest collections. Oh, interesting. Already. <laughs> but I think this is a splurge category because 
you can't beat the fit of a good Levi's and the quality mm. of the, the cotton. denim. It just feels so good. Yeah, the trims. I've bought the cheaper jeans and they always stretch out faster or they might be rougher or they just don't have that like snatched fit to them both tara and i have the levi's ribcage style mm. by the way if you're interested we love those yeah. they just look so good but these abercrombie and fitch jeans i've literally had for 14 years like we mm. could literally find an archive blog post of me wearing them <laughs> and to be fair they don't look their best now <laughs> but i just think it's amazing that they've lasted this long i love that about denim though if you buy a good quality denim yes they wear in over time and you get different wear marks on them sometimes you pay for it to look Worn in. I don't know, there's something about the craftsmanship as like a fashion designer that a denim just like gets me excited. <laughs> the next category we wanted to include, obviously all the things we've mentioned already have been quite casual, you know, jeans, t-shirts, mm. a handbag. But of course we have a lot of events in our lives. You gotta be wedding guests, you've got parties, you might be hitting the town, going out for a night's dinner, whatever it might be. And for those occasion outfits, we think this is actually an area where you can save by renting your outfits. And I have done this a lot. I rent through designer wardrobe and I just think it's so cool because you can get a really special dress for an occasion or I rent quite a lot for like photo shoots for my website, my social content. And you can get something that's a real statement and you can wear it once and then you return it. And you don't have to pay $700 mm. for this designer dress. Often if you buy a dress for an event and you wear it to say like your birthday party and then you're always like, oh, I've already worn that. Everybody's mm. already seen it. Not that there's anything wrong with wearing the same dress more than once. I yeah. wear my Kate Sylvester we one all the time. <laughs> Are into re-wearing. <laughs> yes. I also think in terms of saving for special occasion dresses and things, you can hit the sales and get something nice still and you know you don't need to buy things full price because i feel like you won't get the cost per wear out of it because it's not something you'll be wearing as often yes exactly like a nice t-shirt even though we said you could save on it like to be fair this one that was a little bit pricier i'm gonna wear a lot mm. i've already worn it like five times in the week that i bought it <laughs> have you washed it no <laughs> i don't smell they don't know that <laughs> The next category, okay, you're not wearing it, is jewelry. And I actually copied Ellen's <laughs> brand that she bought because the quality was really nice. It's called Kelly Tiger. I don't have mine on today, no. but you will have seen them in a lot of our past videos and our clean girl video that we did. Yeah. If you're going to wear it a lot, it's something that's worth spending a little bit more on. I can't tell you the amount of times I've bought cute jewelry from like La Visa Glassons Cotton On and I've worn it a few times and like the fingers have turned green sometimes. Yeah, green fingers. Classic. You get like the half silver, half like gold look. Or it just breaks. Like or I've had breaks, cheap yeah. bracelets that just like get caught on nothing and then just break. Yeah, for pieces that you're gonna wear, like a good quality plated things, sterling silver. I also really like going for like my antique or secondhand jewelry. Um, I guess it's an area where I'm splurging because like this ring, I think it was like $500. So like that's not a cheap ring. But if I were to walk into say Michael Hill or Walker and Hall, that would cost me probably like $2,000. So I think it's a great area where you can get good quality jewelry but you can get it for a little bit of a cheaper price. You just have to hunt around and find the right stores. Unfortunately, I haven't found an antique jewelry store that I like in Auckland. So if anyone knows any, let me know, but I might have to hit some up when I'm in the UK. Mm. <laughs> so the next in the saves I think is outerwear. If you can get something that's like properly lined, it's got like nice buttons, nice seams, fits you well. I've also got a lot of secondhand jackets in my collection, outerwear pieces. I also know we actually had a leather jacket from the warehouse for like mm. years. Like we wore that thing to death. <laughs> and I think that is a matter of just like finding the right thing in the right store and looking at those things like the fabric and the zippers and the buttons. And again, mm. it's the kind of thing like I could pair a cheaper coat with a really nice handbag and some nice gold jewelry. And I think it looks really polished and put together. The final wardrobe essential we have for you today is gonna be another splurge. And this final one is shoes. Shoes is such a broad category. <laughs> There's so many different styles and for different weather you can get out there, but I do believe this is something where splurging really pays off. The higher quality shoes 
just last longer. You're less likely to get sore feet or injure your feet. My example of this is I got some fake Birkenstock style sandals and I bought them twice and they broke mm. quite quickly because I wore them quite a lot. They also did this thing where my foot like suctioned on and made like farting noises Oh, I a remember lot. that. Yeah. yeah. And then I got the real ones. I saved up for like four or five months to, to get the proper Birkenstocks. And oh my gosh, my feet feel so supported. They're so comfy. And you've never had to replace them. Cause you've no, worn them they, just as much, if not more. Probably more. And they still look pretty good, I think. And this suede, so they're more likely to get like, you know, a bit roughed up, but they look really good. Yeah. After Tara got her Birkenstocks, I also <laughs> tried them on and was like, oh my gosh, these are like heaven on your feet. And my boyfriend <laughs> hates them. He thinks they're so ugly and I love them. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even care. These are amazing. The other thing Tara pointed out when we were chatting about this earlier is if you get say a nice pair of leather boots, you wear them to death for like two or three years, you can take them into a shop to a cobbler or whatever and they can resole them for you. Mm. If you have expensive shoes, you can get them repaired and fixed up like that. Whereas like a cheaper shoe, there's not always the mm. option to do that or it's not necessarily worth it. And if you get a nice quality leather pair as well, there's all sorts of leather care you can do mm. with it. You can polish them up and it's amazing what a good shoe polish yes. can do on like your black boots that you've scuffed up a bit. Whereas if you've got like a pleather that you've scratched, it scrapes off the top surface and yeah. it just starts to look starts to quite, disintegrate yeah, yeah. quite quickly so that is going to be it for this little fashion video we hope you guys enjoyed it uh let us know what you would like to see next do you want another handbag video <laughs> <laughs> do you want a shoe video do you want something on another trend you've seen on tiktok let us know and yeah we'll catch you in the next video bye, bye.